Welcome back to The Everyday Artisan. I'm Jackie and today we will be creating tiny books. Now, if you know me personally, you know I love books. I remember the first books I read as a young child along with my grade school librarian whose name was Mrs. Reed of all names, so that was her real name. But she coached me into books that were both developmentally appropriate for me as a second grader and met my reading level, which was several grades higher than that. That's a, a tricky thing for teachers to do, to find the right content and the right skill level for kids at that young age, and she was wonderful at it. She was also pretty formidable. You never took a book out of Mrs. Reed's library that she didn't think was appropriate for you on many levels. Anyways, she helped me. I was off and running and never stopped reading. I'm the person that always has a book or a craft in my bag, hate to get bored. Um, and I found making tiny books to be the best blend of both of these things. They cost almost nothing to make, require very few materials and tools, and can be done in a stolen moment. I personally love to have a few crafts on hand that I'm all set up, doesn't take a lot of time, and I can use in a moment to decompress or allow my mind to wander as my hands are busy creating. Anyways, let's get started. Tiny books this week. So I thought I would start today by sharing a few of my favorite tiny bookmakers with you and where I get a lot of my supplies and or kits. So this one here is by Ever After Miniatures. And it's a small um, 12, 1 to 12 inch size uh, dollhouse size. And this one is a copy of The Christmas Carol, uh, fully illustrated and with uh, parts of the print in it, quite lovely. And this one here is by Lady Miniac. And she is, I think, in South Africa. And she does medieval manuscripts. And this one is quite lovely. It's a little more adorned, which I can show you more, or you can look at her um, YouTube's uh, listings because she has a couple tutorials on how to make them and she is fabulous as well. Full of reproductions of medieval manuscripts. Quite fun. And then this one is by Nick the Booksmith and if anyone likes book binding you will check out her page and all of these will be linked in the show description and she makes true tiny books or pocket books. This one is a fairy tale book and it is fully il uh, illustrated and with all the words in it. So you could actually carry this in your purse or pocket just for fun. Whip it out if you have a little one that needs to hear a fairy tale here and there. Um, and these all can be also used as props for different scale dollhouses or dolls. This would be the standard dollhouse size, one inch equals 12 inches. This would be for like 12 inch dolls, Barbie dolls. This is one inch equals six inches, and then these are one quarter scale. So they're all quite fun and lovely. So to get started, you need a few tools. A pair of scissors, these are my favorite Fiskars. A stylus with a little ball on the end for scoring. Straight edge to work with, and a glue stick. Scotch Crate is the best multi-purpose glue. Um, I wish it came in a smaller, uh, in the same formula and a smaller size for this project, but it doesn't use it anyways. Optional, some distress ink and a, and a little dabber, totally optional. So all of them start as printables. Uh, the printable here is a, a Christmas carols kind of book, music book, and this is from Ever After Miniatures. So we start just by cutting it out. All right, so we have our three pieces set out. What we're going to do first is glue this page to the back of the last one. So I'll turn it around this way. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on. I like to use a little bit of my scrap paper just to keep my surface nice. And go there. Carefully line them up. This is really important. And I like to make sure, even check it on the edge of this sheet of paper. Is it nicely lined up? Good. And get that there. Now the next stage is to take our 
uh, stylus and straight edge and we're just going to score all these little lines. So you also want to score all around the edges of the outside part of the book and the binding as well. It's going to be folded around. So in order to firm up the covers of our book, we just take a little piece of cardstock and it could be you know, a cue card, a piece of uh, stiff mail. This is just a little piece of scrap paper that I had that's a you know, little bit thicker. So, and what we're gonna do is size it to our book there. So I'll take that, give it a little Cut along that edge. And while you want to get these close, they don't really have to be perfect. They're going to be tucked inside. So square it off. And then measure it inside. And you'll turn it over and you'll see. Can you see that outline? So I'm going to do one side. Give it a little mark on side. Then I'm going to do the middle another one and then the other side and trim those till you have three little pieces and they look a little off square trim them up a little but again once it all is put together it's pretty it goes together nicely so then what I like to do is glue them in to the cover. I'm going to put our two pieces on one side there and another side here and one in the middle. Line them up as best you can. And you want, see those little gaps in there? Those are important. You do want those gaps in there, about a millimeter or a little less than a sixteenth of an inch. Then we want to glue down the two sides, top and bottom. A little too much there. Fold them over which those score lines make a little bit easier. And fold it over again. Use your ball edge to kind of squish those in there. And your two side pieces. Fold them in as well. And you have a lovely little cover all set to go. Now, the next part is to take, and we're going to accordion fold this. And we wanna make sure that we take the left side and we fold it inward first, because it will actually sit right in there. It might need to be trimmed a bit, it looks a little big. But we'll get that, and then we accordion fold it back and forth. And when we're doing that, if you notice right here how that's crooked, I want to line that up nicely in order to get a nice straight book because what can happen when you accordion fold like this is it can get all distorted. But by doing each one separately, you go, so we went back, forth, we're going to go back again on this one. So I want to line it up again and press it down. So now we have our accordion folded up. You can see it becomes a sweet little book in that way. So we need to glue these together in order to help make it fit into the book properly. 
So I like to turn it over and I know this one needs to be free. So these two are going to be glued together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, use my glue stick, press it over and stack them on top. So I'm always gluing the same spot, stack them on top. I might move it a bit so it doesn't stick to my book. Press them down nice and firm. Stack it. Oh, popped it up. This only takes a moment. One more. I'll make sure it's not too thick. Press it down. And then when it's done, I like to kind of check to make sure they're all stacked nicely. Press them with my finger. They're still the glue is still wet, so you can still get that little bit of movement in there. And then I'm going to check to see, will it fit into my little book? And it does. Now you can glue it right in like this, or you could ink the edges, which I sometimes like to do, give it a little bit of a distressed look. I won't do that right now, but you can do that to all the pages inside and out, and it gives a very sweet look. Um, but for now, we're just going to do the last bit, make sure it is right side up and you're going to put the glue on the outside page, which will become your end paper. You could also get fancier and you could find little papers that you want to glue in there. So we put it into the book centered nicely like that and then do the other side. Glue off my board, bring it around, give it a really good press with your fingers, press it with your hand, and there you have it, a little book of Christmas carols. So I just wanted to show you how far you can take these. So here is the little Christmas Carol book that we just made and I'll put that aside and you can see here, this is a teeny tiny spell book. Very sweet, used for a little witches cauldron type of thing. Very nice. And again, all these can are Etsy printables. I will link them. Another one, this one's just a little more, just a, a cute little book, has some blank pages in it. You could even insert little pressed flowers in there. Uh, here's one that I was saying I distressed all the edges with the ink, kind of gave it an aged look to it. So all the pages have this kind of antique quality to it. And then you can have a lot of fun um, creating very embellished books. And again, Lady Miniac has an excellent tutorial on how to go about embellishing small books like this really lovely. This is another one, including brass fittings and everything on there. And lastly, another one of Nick the Booksmith's um, pocket books, Flowers from Shakespeare's Garden. So all the flowers that are mentioned in his plays and his poetry all gathered up into one. And this is a replica of a real book. And it was small to begin with. It wasn't much bigger, bigger than this, but it was a small book. So these are all the possibilities. You could start very simple, very small, and graduate as your interest takes you in different places.